Hey everyone, it's Laura with Pampered Chef. How are you today? This is Wednesday and I'm making something from Taste Buds. This is called Baked Chicken Drumsticks. And of course I'm modifying, but I wanna show you how to do this, okay? So I have lots of stuff going on in the kitchen tonight. Um, I'm actually have two whole chickens in the oven for our dinner tomorrow night. So just wait for that. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to make a cornmeal flour um, coating. So let's get this show on the road. Okay. So we're actually going to add in some ranch seasoning from Pampered Chef. Okay. So we're going to add in, let's see. We're adding in about three tablespoons, okay? The humidity has been horrible here, guys. Okay, um, so that's about three tablespoons. Now the recipe says eight chicken drumsticks, but my package had 12, so I did increase the ingredient a little bit, okay? I didn't quite double. Now we're gonna add in baking powder. This is actually going to make your chicken really crispy. So we're gonna add in about two tablespoons, two teaspoons, excuse me, of that, okay? So I just take a whisk, whisk all the ingredients in. All my bowls, my big size bowls were, this is my, this was my um, grandma's bowl. Um, and so when she lived with us, we combined kitchens and I inherited all of her kitchen stuff, so I couldn't bear to throw some of that away or get rid of it. Because um, every time you use stuff like this, you have grandma thoughts, and those are important. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do kind of an assembly line, okay? So I'm not gonna show you all of this, you guys, but so we dredge it. This is actually called dredging, and I know some people don't like um, touching raw meat. You'll just have to get over it. We put it in the egg mixture, and then we put it back in the cornmeal and flour mixture. Now you can do flour and cornmeal, or I just buy a cornmeal mix, okay? And then we're gonna put this right on the, um, I'm using the half sheet pan, but you can use, like if your package is smaller, of course, then you might wanna use a smaller sheet, and a smaller pan, okay? so. You don't need to see me do this 12 times. However, um, this gives you an idea of how we do this, okay? So I go back and forth this way so it fits better, just like they were in the package, okay? Now, this, um, so we have, I have more of these um, to go, but I wanna show you a little, um, these are our green beans. Now a friend of mine, um, she has a garden and she, I, I messaged her and I'm like, oh, take pity on me. And so she did. So fresh green beans, but um, you can use whatever. So I added a little bit of oil to these and we're gonna add a little bit of salt, okay? So, and then I'm, these actually go in the same pan as the chicken. Well, it would if I didn't have a, so much, so many chicken broths. So I'm actually gonna use this pan. This is called a modular pan. And this is so awesome. This, we actually have three different sizes. Now, if you go looking for this, you're not going to find it because it's not available yet. But this has higher sides. So this will cook right in the oven. All right. I just want to make sure my house got clean today, so I didn't want to throw anything on the floor. Okay. So this will go right in the oven with the chicken. So I will, um, and then what we're gonna do, once I have all the chicken on here, which I won't get, we actually wanna spray it with some oil. So our spritzer, you do, you just pump it like this and it infuses air into it, okay? And this is what you spray, and then you don't need a whole lot of oil. And then here's something really important, guys. Whether you have the older model or you have a newer model, you actually wanna burp it. Just like that. That releases the air. Now, some people say, well, mine stopped working. Well, just like a hairspray bottle that gets kind of gunky sometimes, you gotta, you gotta wash that. So just put this under hot water and you'll be amazed at it. Everything requires 
maintenance. So you gotta, you know, paper check box the same way. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll take a picture and it's gonna go in the oven up to, uh, at 425. Um, but we'll see you tomorrow night for dinner.